You know, I hate making videos with this shirt on. Because I've had like 250 videos with just fox shirts. What the fuck is up with that bullshit, nigga? It's like boring everyone. The only thing that's really changing in my videos is my fucking hair. My facial bullshit, nigga. And my hairline. Shit's moving way up like LeBron. Um, but, other than that, I like how I made it somber, too. Are conservatives liberal at heart? I know when conservatives are called out for their racism, they like saying that, you know, we're proud of our diversity as a nation. We're just against the legal immigrants are coming into places in the south like Arizona or San Diego or Texas that's what we're up against and that's Southern California bullshit and Southern Cal is kinda of overrated and that's not what I'm here to talk about it seems that they're liberal as much as you can be before you stop being a good goy. That's kind of what they are. And I don't know why the past six or seven videos I've used that term way too often. Because I don't take it as much of a big deal. But, uh, I mean, I got, I got some Jewish friends. One of my closest friends in high school was a Jewish guy. Uh, we still inbox each other every now and then. He's a big 4chan poll guy, and uh, yeah, he ain't a big fan of Israel. But he went out of Connecticut, nigga, so you already know he crazy as fuck, nigga. <clears throat> But they seem to love their diversity. I mean, King of the Hill has some diversity in it. It has some Native American boys. It has some Chinese niggas. Yeah, King of the Hill was mostly a satire, but... Because it's trying to be drab, dry as fuck. And say that them red states and them red people are boring as hell, but... Why it is a... They like their diversity. They just understand that these people can't be white boys. Some of them can't even be good goy. And when they stop being good goys, that's when they need to go. So the average black guy, oh no, allow them in. They're they're okay. Just don't have them going up against the system since. That could hurt the goys. Don't have that militant wannabe Tupac bullshit. <laughs> or that, um, most deaf. Most deaf, he kind of got called out for that anti Semitism shit. <laughs> but, uh, that's really what they care about. They love diversity in a way, they love that feminism shit. So long as it's conservative enough so that it doesn't affect the big money players which I can understand structurally that is a lot less destructive than let's send a bunch of crazy ass niggas up in here that some Somali niggas some Yemen boys Because nothing good can come from that. At the same time, with the way they latch on to your constitution, the way they support fundamental natural rights, as opposed to the human rights that the UN is based off of, you can tell that they hold on to a slave-ish morality. 
not a 100% slave morality, but slave morality to the point that what they're scared of are the people that are strong, that are militant, that are aggressive enough to harm others, and them possibly, but just that aggression, they don't like that. Guns are a means of protection, legitimately, and not aggression. It's so that no one can tread on them. My issue with that is that it's not badass enough. There needs to be a love of that aggression somewhere in that. That weakness is okay, but when you make it it's so low church and so dumbed down that uh, people will never get it and the intelligent are gonna become full liberals and they're gonna become Obama tards then you fucked up you have to have an avenue for the intellectual vanguards of the world you can't just assume everyone's a dumbass because most likely they're a dumbass there has to be like a little avenue. You gotta kind of. I hate this tr blue pill, red pill terminology, but you kind of gotta leave some of that shit there, just to see if the occasional smart person will fall into that crack. That's kind of what has to happen. Because if not, then you're just gonna get a uh, confused '90s kids liberals with hip liberals, which that's what the liberal conservative especially the neocon kind of dynamic is. I don't know about the paleo conservatives. There's some things I do like about them and there's a lot that I don't. And they're definitely a step up from the neo douches. This is Mr. Wonka 7. I'm just gonna end it there because if I don't it's gonna go in circle and then y'all niggas already get the point. I want you guys to get your fucking start working out nigga. Start lifting, otherwise you're gonna end up like me, like this I'd be like Slender Man if I w wasn't if I'm not this one twenty pound uh Five foot nothing kind of guy, be Slenderman. Just way scrying like that. They got the big booty though, but that's because they got them short legs and that long ass torso. And that long ass neck. So don't end up like me, because it's not fun. You're always going to look like a fucking dwarf. No matter how good you look, no matter how Gucci you look, you're always going to look like a dwarf. I can't do anything about the leg and torso ratio, but I can do something about the arms, kind of make them beefier. But y'all need, need to do that because I'm already a lost cause. I'm I'm the spokesperson for Asperger's, nigga. Give me that money, man. YouTube.com, so easy and Aspie can do it. Badly, nonetheless. And how many subscribers do I got right now? 150? I know in the beginning of January it's just some shit about stepping up my YouTube game. And I was in the two digits at the time. Now 100 subscribers into the future and... Like I still don't get what the fuck I'm doing right cause... These niggas... I'm like an island. I'm not gonna get some atheist cult fuckers saying, man you're an evil racist cause I'm so fucking crazy. You're like, nah, I just want to avoid that guy. It's so awesome, man. You should be like me, but attractive.